So we have seen that generative AI can be extremely effective. But why is it so good at coding? Well, the simple answer is there's a lot of code out there for this powerful machine learning model to learn from. Here's a quick example of uh, the code that drives Python. I told you that much of the code that underlies Python is actually written in C. This is an example of C code and it's available uh, open source. The developers of Python have made their code open source. And because it's available on uh, websites uh, like GitHub, uh, the developers of generative AI tools have been able to download that code. And when they look at that code, because it has been developed by professionals, they find that it is well structured. This particular file is many hundred lines long, but it is broken up into small segments which we call functions. So the code is well structured. Furthermore, the code is well documented. This code has been written by professionals, but it has been written by professionals to make it easy for others to read. And so everything from line 314 to 320, which is most of the code that I'm showing you here, is not C code. They're English statements. They're written in comment form. This is how we write C comments. So this, these instructions tell us what this code is doing. Now, when this kind of input is fed to a generative AI model, it can see the intent of the programmer expressed through things like comments. And it can see the code that satisfies that intent. And the generative AI model learns from this. So next time you tell it what you want, what your intent is, it can take this kind of learning and produce the correct code. It is not simply memorizing this, that this code is the answer to this prompt. It is doing something far more sophisticated than that. But the reason it's able to do it is because so much code is available. Now, I must tell you that the use of open source code like this uh, for the purposes of training these generative AI models is subject to all kinds of legal challenges. Some people have said that what uh, GitHub Copilot, one of the uh, AI code generation models, what they have done is amounts to open source piracy. And there is an active uh, court case where these arguments are being heard. As I'm recording this, this matter has not been resolved. So it remains to be seen whether there will be any consequences to the creation of such tools. Having said this, now that the technology has proven to be effective, many other uh, developers are creating generative AI tools. They're being more careful with the way open source software is used for training. Nevertheless, there are such issues. Many companies are also interested in using generative AI tools, and indeed many are using these tools in their professional software development, but they do have certain concerns. For now, we are going to use the free version of these tools, which means that any code that we write could be used by the developers of these tools to further train their generative AI models. This is a problem for uh, industry because of uh, intellectual property rights associated with the code that they are producing. So oftentimes the business versions of these tools, the ones that you have to pay for, uh, don't take a look at your code and they don't train their models based on your code. For us, while we are learning, we will make use of the free tools. We must remember, however, that any code that we write could be used by, uh, by, by, these, by the developers of these models. So we must be very, very careful not to put any sensitive information, any personal information, certainly nothing like your bank accounts or your passwords should go into the code that you, you, that you develop using these free generative AI models.